Hi, welcome to online digital marketing training. In this video, I'm explaining about Facebook custom conversion. So I'm going to teach you uh, how to set up pixel code, which I've already done. I'll be uh, mentioning the link in the description. Go through that, and how to set up custom conversion, and how to set up standard events to track individual actions on a particular page, and how to create ad targeting this conversions okay see we already know that whenever people come to our website by clicking on our ad whether it is a Google ad or Facebook ad so whenever they fill the form for my website if they fill the form it's a conversion for me so this is the wedding photography website for this also customer came here and fill the form it's a conversion okay when it comes to e-commerce website uh, clicked and purchased the product it's a conversion so different websites have a different conversion option so here i'm going to explain you for the wedding shot website customer come here and uh, fill the form they got a lead so how to capture this conversion i'm going to explain before that in a facebook there are two kinds of conversions actually one is the custom conversion and one is the standard events so like uh, we use the event setup tool to add standard events let me explain what this is right see when it comes to odmt customer came and filled the form it's a conversion but sometimes i want to track the people who clicked on this content i want to track them also at the time with the help of event setup tool we can track whether the people have clicked on the particular tabs or not assume that uh, when it comes to normal conversion customer clicked and purchase you converting you are tracking but what about the people who added to the cart added to the wish list you want to track them at the time this is very helpful actually so you want to know what people are doing on your website so i advise to do both of them so let me show you now so I came to facebook.com slash ads manager and after that clicked on this events manager I came back here so we already installed the pixel code here you for the first time you're coming for the Facebook ads you don't know what is pixel I'll put a link in the description go through that and watch it come back here or else so there is a Facebook pixel click on this there is a code put it in the head section or else use some partner integration with the help of partner integration also you can do it so i'm not going for that okay so yesterday only i installed the pixel code it is showing anyway hotel already total three events came click right so three page views done by default uh, whenever you put a pixel code it's starting the event tracking of a page view any page because the code is available in complete website so whoever come to any page it started showing that some people have come to this page like uh, if you click on this you will see tracking type the urls you come to know what pages they've come so five people came to wedding short and one person came to thank you page but we are not tracking any conversions here now people who came to thank you page i want to mention that this is the conversion it's very simple okay as of now because of the pixel code it is tracking every page who come to the particular page it is tracking but i want to know the conversions for this so when you come back here there is an option called create custom conversion so click on this Make sure that before you're doing conversion tracking you already install the pixel code okay name your conversion the website reading short conversions I'm writing i'm tracking the leads okay the source is because of the pixel code so i want to track the complete traffic all url traffic there is some more option anyway we're not going for that yes 
so what will be the conversion if customer come to which page it is a conversion so there are different pages but whenever you fill the form it will go to the thank you page so whenever customer go to thank you page it's a conversion for me so i will show you there is a thank you page if anybody fill the form then only come here so i'm telling here that if url contain thank you it's a conversion for me either i can mention like this i, I don't have to paste the complete url or else you can use url equals at this time you have to paste the complete url i don't recommend this for the e-commerce website when it comes to lead base this is perfect every time customer come here it will be like this only but sometime if it is an e-commerce website the number keep on changing the product 213 214 at the time it's always better to go for the contains thank you or uh, thank you okay right and if you want you can enter a conversion value because this is a lead base i'm not mentioning the conversion value but if it is e-commerce you can mention the conversion value so simple funda i first of all install the pixel code we were come to individual page it is tracking now i came back to custom conversion i'm telling that um, among the all the traffic whoever come to thank you page i want to track them as a conversion create it that's it success you have created the custom conversion wedding shot conversion pixel is this Done. now we created conversion whoever come to that page it will show us a conversion okay but apart from that i want to track the people who are doing some kind of actions like imagine that someone click on this i want to track that guy or else who clicked and been to my Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, these buttons also want to track. At the time, it's always good to go for the standard events. Click on this, set up new events, which is very important. It's a beautiful tool, actually. Click on this. Here, Facebook have come up with a new event setup tool. So go with this. Instead of going for the manual, previously the manual code was there, but this is a bit tough anyway. So when it comes to manual if it is e-commerce and retail these are the proper events are possible if you want then click on this then you will be getting a code actually that code you have to paste on your website so this is a bit tricky anyway so instead of that let us use easy method event setup tool and mention your website any URL you can mention, either this or a wedding page or contact us page. I'm mentioning the home page. So you can use the event setup tool to add standard events and parameters without the need to code. This is the easiest option to install pixel events. Open website. So open in a new tab and uh, left hand side you'll be getting some options so measure the valuable action that people take on your website without with our interactive event setup tool see whether people have clicked on this button or this button okay right left hand side you'll be getting the tool uh, events on this page there are two options track url and track new button track url it's same like a pixel and conversion see here same like a custom conversion someone come to this page then i'm calling this as a add to cart or add to wish list what it might be but this is not this is a home page anyway so what i'm saying is this is same kind of a view content whoever come to this page it's a view content so i set up one event now then instead of that i want to track the different buttons over here so here there is an option track new button automatically what all the buttons are available here it will be highlighted so which one you want to track click on this now i want to track this someone click on here 
they'll go to contact us page they click means they are interested i want to track this so click then what do you want to call it as this is not a lead anyway uh, this is again a view content these are the predefined options view content confirm two events have been done now what else i'm doing is i click on this now i'm clicking on this button so it will go to the contact us page here here the form is there now i want to track this someone fill the form they click on send means they'll go to the thank you page this you want to track anyway this is actually a lead anyway so i'm clicking on this uh track new button i want to track this then this is my lead confirm so that is how you'll be tracking the standard events also so custom conversion if anyone landed on the particular page you can track with the help of standard events you can track a different uh, buttons whether it is a add to card or wish list or click on the particular content also you can track okay done finish setup now see three we done one is someone click on the button text inquire now one is customer came to the home page one is customer fill the form go back here now it will keep on showing me what's happening over let me refresh this once people come to my website do some actions from now onwards it will start tracking the conversion tracking at the same time individual standard events so it's already started see lead is active view content is active so i'm already doing with my odmt website so go to ads manager events manager and you will see my pixel here because of the pixel it's tracking everything and at the same time i have set up the different standard events also okay right now i want to create a campaign now we done a conversion tracking right let me create a campaign now so go to ads manager and let me create a ad so that we can use the conversion tracking here ads manager and create a campaign here again in detail how to create campaigns in the future videos i'll be doing if you already know just see here create campaign. right so here whenever you want to track the conversions so you have different kind of campaign objective brand awareness website traffic but i want more sales or conversions so i want to go for the conversions over here select conversion and what is the campaign name so don't want to do the budget optimization so first time i'm doing for this that's reason it's asking the country currency time zone so here select what you want people to do after seeing your ad and where you want the ad to take them you can also control how facebook bids in each option so there are different objective in facebook someone view your content you pay amount or someone come to your website now what i'm telling is optimize my ads in such a way that i need more conversion here facebook will uh, take money for the impressions only whenever conversions happen they will not take money but they will work in such a way that you will be getting more conversions so destination is website 
optimize for ad delivery of conversion choose an event it's asking the event so set up a conversion you can use the facebook pixel to track valuable actions that people already done so click on this those will come here it's not triggering because just now we did it uh, for better understanding let me do in my odmt one let me do the same process here so create campaign because it is the new one it is not showing any so again i'm going to the conversions website conversions you can also do app messenger and whatsapp also so choose an event see lead view content the same time add to cart donate subscribe event add to wish list these are not uh, active because my website is not an e-commerce website that's why i haven't mentioned all these things if i select add to cart also they'll send you a message your ad may not be optimized for conversion because you have not received any activity in the past because there is no add to cart option anyway that's why i'm selecting the lead yes so facebook will aim to spend your entire budget and get the most leads using the lowest cost paid strategy so you don't have to mention this that's it guys then remaining option just do it the audience and the creating ad which i'll be explaining in the next videos just go through that this is take a piece so this is about the conversion tracking so make sure that in order to do this mandatory pixel code should be installed i already explained at the same time do the customer conversion it's always helpful for you because not everyone clicked on your ad will convert so you want to see what they're doing set up the standard events also so if you have any questions put a comment so that i'll reply back to you and uh, to access all my videos come back to odmt uh, youtube click on odmt and these are all my videos i created the separate playlist also and uh, if you struggle to do the pixels and conversion tracking on your website uh, just come back to odmt and fill your details i'll try to help you on that okay thank you very much guys